new study suggests that using cocaine can lead to getting high and increased dopamine levels. More on that after the break. Hi, I'm Presley Jordan. Every day, two billion people die from heroin. Don't be a statistic. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we get a fact check on that? <laughs> Are you tired of peel, peel, peeling potatoes? Stop! Oh, Martha, don't you know that 100% of people who take drugs die? <laughs> Over the last two years, hundreds have landed in the Summit County Medical Examiner's Office. My brother used to break in our house and steal the TV. But now, he's dead. Okay, okay, okay. Just look at the facts here, people. This is a man before and after doing cocaine. This is a man before and after doing meth. And this is a man before and after eating tacos. I think the evidence is pretty clear here, people. There's not much to deny it. Your time is better spent eating tacos than doing meth or drinking those chemicals in the tap water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Now thanks Barbara for being out in the field with the junkies of the nation. I'm sure it was a frightening experience. Now we're going to head over to Chip with the weather. Thanks Jim. Now we're going to take a look at some numbers. Uh, here we see that in 2015 alone, 52,404 people died of drug overdose. And fun fact about that Jim, 63% of those deaths were opioid related. That is a fun fact. Now we're going to take a look at our neighbors from across the pond. Uh, in 2015, in the UK alone, there were 8,441 fatalities. Now that's much like the, that in the US, where most of those deaths were opioid related. Chip, is marijuana an opioid? No, it's not, Jim. But you know what they say about marijuana? It's a gateway drug. That can lead to the consumption of much more powerful stuff like opioids like cocaine. Well, I'm sure glad I don't do marijuana, Chip. I could end up just like another statistic of overdose deaths. That you could, Jim. That you could. Now for the highs and the lows of the day. Approximately 32,310,000 people are high. And the lows for tomorrow? Those same 32 million people when they all come down. Thanks, Jim. Now back to you. Thanks for the weather, Chip. And this is the end of our nightly broadcast. Thanks for tuning in, America. We'll see you tomorrow.